you know, as life groups are starting back up, I also was thinking about this sermon series, and it's called Philemon, A Case for Community. And I wanted to get someone's kind of their story about their kind of experience of life groups in the community. So I got my friend Mark Riley right here. So I'm going to, I've got this little table. We'll sit down for a second. Sure. All right. There you go. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Good morning. I'm just going to pretend nobody's out here. Oh, really? Nobody? <laughs> There's only 400 of our closest friends. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Mark, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? And Sure. Um, my name is Mark Riley, if you haven't heard. Um, some, some may recognize me. I retired as chief of police of Lexington PD last year after 27 years of service. So, mm, wow. So I'll, I'll say this. If, if you recognize me, I hope it's a good thing that we didn't have a <laughs> conversation on the side of the road somewhere. So if I did, we'll, we'll talk later. And what are you up to now? I uh, retired, and I'm now the assistant director of public safety for Washington Lee University. So oh, go generals. Cool. Generals go out generals. there. Generals. <laughs> You got some friends out there. Yes. So, um, yeah, can you tell me a little bit of how, how you got to Rockbridge Church and maybe how you also got a part of life groups? I will. I, uh, I was here helping with the Band Boosters event one time, and Dave Stout and his crew was in here. And they were just, I described it as cleaning for Jesus one day. And he said, hey, we have church here. You know, why don't you come? So, so I did. I, I came one Sunday, and it was, it was so good. And Matt spoke so, so well, and I just I came back the next Sunday. And the next Sunday and the next Sunday. And eventually, I was asked to usher, you know, if I would help with the usher program. Mm. And of course, you can't say no to Jesus, so I did. <laughs> sure. um, and eventually, I took over the usher program, just overseeing the schedule and things like that. So if you see these guys with name tags, thank them for what they do. They're, they're great behind-the-scenes guys. So, mm. so shout out to the two of the ushers back there working today. <laughs> and then how about, so then, okay, so you were kind of, you started coming to Rockford Church and then you started serving. How, how do you get connected in like a community, like a life group? Um, I got an email from David Grizzle, just, just kind of out of nowhere, you know, he said, hmm. hey, I seen you, I want you to think about joining our group. So I did, I was a little nervous, didn't know anybody, didn't know a lot of people, but, but I went on and joined and it was, it was great. You know, it, our, our group and, and many groups here, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are, where you're from, what you do, it was great, you know, they, they bring mm. you in and you, you make these fellowships and friends that, that'll, that'll last forever. Mm. And um, so it's kind of, you know, our little community mm -hmm. and, you know, part of a bigger men's group community, part of the Rockbridge Church community. Mm. And, and we're all kind of kind of spokes in, the, in the, the wheel of the church here. Yeah, sometimes the best ways to kind of be part of community is you start in a small group of people and that's how you kind of get connected to a church. Uh, so my last question for you then, Mark, is, um, yeah, what would you say to people? Like, why, why be part of community? Why, like, what's especially community in Christ? Um, I, would, I would say it's, it's great. You know, the, the fellowship's fantastic. The friendships are fantastic. You know, you learn a little bit. You know, we talk about each other's weeks. We, you know, we do prayer requests and things like that. You know, and we, we, you know, have our lesson, but we also talk. And, hmm. you know, I'll give just an example. You know, my daughter um, was sick. She was in the hospital for like six days. And I was just sitting there, and I got on my phone, and, you know, I sent an email to all my, all my folks, my guys. I called my guys, and I said, hey, my daughter's in the hospital, and, and all of a sudden, your phone just lights up. You know, these guys, you've only, you know, you met for six months are now, you know, praying for you and calling mm. you and checking on you. So if you're not in a group, get in a group. You're going to love it. It's, it's great friendships, great fellowship, great community. Um, you, you won't regret it. You really won't regret it. You'll be excited to go every week and, and uh, got a great bunch of guys. And don't be nervous like me. They'll, they'll take you in, and next thing you know, you know, you're, you know, man, we're so good about talking about our feelings, you know, and all of a sudden you talk about your feelings with these guys. So, um, so get in a group. It's great, and, and you, you will not regret it. You absolutely will not regret it. Thanks, guys. Give it up for Mark here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I will say, you know, as someone who is, you know, oversees life groups, I have thought about my whole life story of, you know, when I was first involved with Young Life and campaigners and just being a part of that group. And then, you know, I came to Rockford Church, and then one of the first things I did at Rockford Church was being in a life group. It's, it's been a lifeline in my life. It, I, I don't know even where Jamie and I would be if it wasn't for a group of people that invited us in, cared for us, we prayed together, and we opened up God's word and see, well, how, does this, how can we make sense of who Jesus is in our life, and uh, how can we live life together? We're not meant to do it alone. And it, it has equipped me and moved me forward. So I hope that's the same for you all. Uh, if you're interested in life, you know, being a part of a life group, you can sign up. Right There's a, um, a little card you can fill out, and you can put it in the, in the giving towers on the way out. You can go on the website and fill out the online form. You can talk to me. 
my joy is to find you the right place. There's, I think, almost close to 20 different life groups happening throughout uh, Rockford Church, of, you know, from middle school students all the way up to, you know, college students and some other stuff going on. And, you know, even if you're a college student, we will find you a place uh, at Rockford Church as well. So thanks to have you guys here. So as we said, we are going into our first week of our sermon series uh, called Philemon. But before I, I do that, you know, Mar- I just wanted to say, as I said, we, I'm not going to just not pray. I'm going to pray for Mark right now and pray for our group. So let me do that first. Uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for Mark and his story. It's a story that we can relate to. We're like, I'm not sure, Lord. God, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to step forward in that way. And Lord, you find it, it's a place where we can come as we are. We can be ourselves, And then you will use that to transform our lives from the inside out. That community is a way uh, of following you. You know, our relationships with you are personal, but it's not meant to be done privately, Lord. We're meant to do that in the context of community. And we thank you for Mark's story that he's willing to share this morning. Would you be in the midst as we hear uh, Matt talk about Philemon, this case for community in Christ? Will you be in this time together? Pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen.